Hey, welcome to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to create the mobile game stack colors. For this lesson, we're going to be creating the color blocks or the pickup prefab. These pickups are for how your player scores points and are the blocks that stack on each other. Now before we begin, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you can be notified whenever we publish new videos. Now to create the block or pickup prefab, you want to start with a 3D cube. You can create this by right clicking in the hierarchy, going down to 3D object and selecting cube. I've then renamed mine to pickup. Now by default, the basic cube will come with the transform, a cube mesh filter, a mesh renderer component, and a box collider component. Now the first thing that we'll need to add to this object is a rigid body component. You can do this by clicking on the add component button and then just search rigid body. And you'll want to make sure that you add just a regular rigid body instead of a rigid body 2D. Next up, I have this script called pickup stack color, which we'll need to create. So you'll want to create a new folder called scripts in your project window. We can then right click in this folder, go up to create and select C sharp script. And then you'll want to name it something like pickup and then I've put the name of the game so I don't get this pickup script confused with other pickup scripts that I might have. We'll then open it up in our coding environment. All right, so here I have my script opened inside of Visual Studios. And the first thing that we'll need to do is create some variables. The first variable, I've made a serialized field so it'll show up in the inspector and it's of type int called value. The second variable is also a serialized field and this is of type color and I've called it pickup color. Now at this point all we have to do is add two lines of code to our start function. The first line of code we're creating a new local variable of type renderer which I've called rend and I'm setting it equal to git component and we're looking for a renderer. On the second line of code we're going to be changing the color of our pickup object. To do this we want to call our rend variable. We then want to get the material so we have rend.material and we're then calling the set color function so dot set color. This function requires two parameters. First is a string which is underscore color and the second is the color that we want to change our object to and so I'm passing in the pickup color variable. Once we have this code, you can then save it, go back to Unity. Inside Unity, you'll want to select your pickup object and just drag our new pickup script onto this object. I've then set the value to one and the pickup color to red. Now there's a couple more changes that we need to make to this object. You'll want to create a new material, which I've called pickup, and then drag this material onto your pickup object. The last change that we need to make to this object before we make it a prefab is set the tag of this object. To do this, you'll use the tag drop-down menu. To create new tags, you'll click on add tag. You can then click the plus sign under tags and then type in the tag that you want to create. You'll then need to go back to the object and use the drop-down menu to select that newly created tag. So I have this object tagged as a pickup. Now the last thing that we need to do for this video is create a prefab out of our pickup object. So you want to select your prefabs folder, then select your pickup object and just drag it into this folder. All right, that's everything that we're going to cover for this lesson on how to create the mobile game stack colors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you stay tuned for the next lesson. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.